Jack. Just one more time. It won't hurt. No, I'm, I can't. I'm not doing it. One relapse won't do anything. No, I said I wouldn't. Hey, come on. Just imagine how it will feel. No. Fuck. Should I? Fuck it. I knew I shouldn't have done it. Bro, you fucking idiot. Back to day one again. This used to be me every single day three years ago. Back in 2020, I was addicted to watching porn at least three or four times a day. I would do that apart from the school because I didn't actually physically go to school because of lockdown. I would do my online school and in between classes, I would bust it up. And funny thing is, when I was bored, which was basically every single minute of the day, apart from doing school and busting nuts, I would go on my phone and I would look at another video to watch when I was regenerated. And when I look back at that, I was like, that was fucked. That was fucked. Even though I was only like 14 and 15 at the time, I hated that. I knew I could do so much better. But in September, I discovered the practice of NoFap. Yeah, the power of this practice. That's when I said to myself, fuck, this. I am not spending another minute of my life down bad as I was. And as soon as I made that decision, I went a thousand days on NoFap over that. Yeah, I don't even know how many days I'm at now. If you're going to listen to someone about NoFap, listen to me. I'm not going to say I'm better than other people, but I've done what you want to do. He's had a bounce back fast after a relapse. I'm going to start with the thing that you don't want to do after you relapse. And that's the most common thing people do. It's what I used to do. And that is feed into the guilt. After you bust a nut, you know how you feel, bro. You feel like absolute shit. You have so much shame, guilt, regret. And those three emotions are on a vibrational scale are the worst three emotions you can feel. Of course, you can change your perspective on emotions to make them better. But when you think about it, they're the worst emotions we can feel because we can't really do much about them. They're all in the past. I don't want you to feed into that. Why? Because porn is used as a source of escapism for most men. So when we feel like shit, when we feel guilty, especially shameful and regret, when we can't really change these emotions, what do we do to escape these emotions? We go back to porn. So that comes back again. And to escape guilt, shame, and regret, we go back to porn again. It is a cycle that people go through day in and day out. You do not want to do that. Instead, as soon as you relapse, I'm not, this is not an excuse to go and relapse, by the way. I'm not giving you an excuse to relapse here. But if you end up relapsing, because we make mistakes sometimes, this is what you do. Or if you have just relapsed right now, watch this whole video and then go and do the steps I'm gonna tell you. Get your notebook out, yeah, because you're gonna be wanting to actually quit porn after you relapse. You're not gonna wanna watch it again, most likely, anyway. You're gonna wanna quit. Get out a notebook and write down why you relapsed. Why did you relapse and what caused it and what triggered it? For example, a common trigger for most people is social media. So social media caused you to relapse because that was the trigger, right? Once you've got your trigger, once you know what triggered you, I want you to write down if you can control it or not. I want you to ask yourself that question. Once you've got your trigger, can I control this trigger? If you can control it, eliminate it. Get it out. If it's social media, either delete the app, that's the first step, but if for some reason you can't delete the app or you use it for good reasons, unfollow the person who gave you the urge. Simple, just get rid of the things you can control. But for the majority of urges, you can't control it. Maybe you saw someone down the street and that tempted you to go and bust one. You need to develop a plan and a strategy that when you do get this urge, because again, you not you can't necessarily control getting the urge to do something with it. And that means putting your time towards something productive. But also doing just that will not get you anywhere. When you get an urge, you need to become one with it. You need to sit with it. You can't look at it as a bad thing. It is not a bad thing. It is simply a buildup of energy and you get to choose where you put the energy. And most men, the easiest way to let it go, but it doesn't really go anywhere is by busting it. But that's when we can successfully transmute this sexual energy. And that's the key to NoFap, transmuting your sexual energy into the life that you want to live. Creating daily habits that help you towards the life that you want to live. I've got a complete video on how to overcome urges. I will leave it as an end screen after this video, but keep watching because this is what you do when you relapse. So you've got your reason for relapsing, but the most important step, get back to 
work. Pretend it never happened. It is the most important thing. If you relapse on day five, day six, day seven, day one, day 30, day 60, day 1000, doesn't matter, and you forget that you did, it won't do anything to you. One relapse will not do anything. It will not take you off track. You think that relapsing takes you down 99 steps of 100 steps. It literally takes you down two. And it literally takes you half an hour to get back up those other two. Yes, you may not feel motivated and energized when you bust nut to get back to work. If we do the work, especially when we don't feel like it, as Hamzler famously says, it is so much easier to do the work when you do feel motivated. So. A relapse can be a good thing sometimes. I'm not saying to go and relapse, but it can have its positives. If you've just relapsed, it's not a bad thing. Forget about it. Forget that you did and get back to work. Just forget about it, bro. But make sure that you don't make the same mistake again by relapsing. Trial and error. If you make a mistake, if you went on social media, maybe you went and searched up a model or whatever, and you know you shouldn't have, don't do it next time. Develop a plan for the things that you can't necessarily control, like just your random thoughts. Develop a plan that you're gonna do when you get an urge like that. Now, with that said, I have a completely free ebook down below uh, that will give you the complete formula, that will give you the complete formula for going to a zero to a thousand days on NoFap. I only covered one step here and that covers five steps. Once you've got that, yeah, go and get that right now because it's completely free. You might as well and I want to help you. Here is a video that will teach you how to overcome urges because they're the number one obstacle that you will face on this journey. Go and watch that video right now and I'll see you in there. Peace.